What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your daily gaming hype reports. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, 2019, and here are the top gaming headlines that you need to know about. Remember, if you like any of the gaming stories that I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are the top three stories that you need to know about. Story number one. PlayStation 5 gets a holiday 2020 release window. Sony unveils more hardware details. This story from IGN.com by Joe Scrabbles. The story reads, Sony has announced that PlayStation 5 will be released during holiday 2020. Revealed in a PlayStation blog post, the console is officially called PlayStation 5. The blog also reveals that the console's controller will feature two key new innovations, haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. It will also feature USB-C charging, a higher capacity battery, and is a little heavier than its predecessor. Wired got more detail from system architect Mark Cerny. Haptic feedback will come through, quote, highly programmable voice coil actuators located in the left and right grips of the controller, end quote, which offer more tactile responses than the DualShock 4's rumble motors currently can. Along with an improved speaker, Wired reports that a modified version of Astrobot Rescue Mission offers realistic feelings for the surfaces the player character runs across, with soggy mud and bouncy wooden bridges being communicated through the feeling of the controller. All right, everybody out there, get hyped up right now because we now know the name of Sony's next generation of consoles will be called PlayStation 5. Oh, wait, didn't we already know that name? Well, at least we assumed it, but we do have something awesome to look forward to, a release window of holiday 2020. So circle your calendars now, start saving up your pennies because next generation is right around the corner. But remember, we still have a great ending of 2019 and an incredible start and the whole year of 2020 before we move on to the next generation of consoles. But I'm pumped up about PlayStation 5 and I'm really excited about Sony buffing up that control. Controller. I love the idea of the haptic feedback replacing those rumble motors from so long ago. And I'm all about the adaptive triggers. This sounds like a great time. A higher capacity battery life and a little bit heavier. I like the girth. I like really feeling the controller in my hand. But there's a whole lot of details right now out about the PlayStation 5. So if you're interested in the next generation of Sony consoles, go out there, take a look. They're all over games media right now. And there's some fun details that you definitely want to know about story number two we got an update on doom eternal this coming from a twitter post from id software the tweet reads throughout the development of doom eternal our goal has been to deliver a game that exceeds your greatest expectations across the board to make sure we're delivering the best experience for doom eternal to live up to our standards of speed and polish we've made the decision to extend our launch date by a few months to march 20th 2020 we know many fans will be disappointed by this delay but but we are confident that Doom Eternal will deliver a gaming experience that is worth the wait. I know everybody out there, this isn't a story to get hyped up about, but y'all know I am so hyped for Doom Eternal and I cannot wait for March 20th, 2020. Now, I'm pumped up that the id Software team came out with a clear message and said, hey, we're going to pull this release date back. We're going to put the polish and the love that this game deserves because you know what? Doom Eternal is going to be something special and I'm grateful for id Software and Bethesda coming out here and letting me know the player, the consumer that I need to look forward to this game in spring 2020 and I'm fine with that. I cannot wait for that because Doom Eternal was one of my biggest games of E3 2019. It was one of my biggest games over at PAX West with Google Stadia and I cannot wait to rip and tear with id Software and Doom Eternal. So, I'll see you in March, Doom. I miss you, I love you, and I'm still hyped for you. And now for our final story of your Wednesday Hype Report story, number three, Outer Wilds is coming to PS4 this month. This story from IGN.com by Adam Bankhurst. The story reads, Outer Wilds, the mysterious space exploration title from developer Mobius Digital and publisher Annapurna Interactive, will be launching on the PlayStation 4 on October 15th, 2019. Mobius Digital producer Kelsey Rice took to the PlayStation blog to reveal the news of Outer Wilds' arrival on PS4 following its release on Xbox One and PC earlier this year. 
All right, Sony fans out there, another awesome piece of news to get hyped up about on this beautiful Wednesday. Outer Wilds, the incredible game from Mobius Digital and Annapurna Interactive is coming to you on PlayStation for October 15th, 2019. So make sure to get ready for this awesome game. A lot of people have played it. There's a lot of chatter that it was a really special title that released here in 2019. It is a mysterious space exploration title. I've gone hands-on with it, streamed it to a lot of my friends. It was crazy. It was wild. It was beautiful. I landed on a planet that had nothing but twisters, typhoons, and crazy waves all over the place. I had to fight for my life to get out of there on my spaceship and I gotta say, it was a fun experience and if you're on PlayStation 4 you might want to circle this one to round out 2019. Don't get it confused with Outer Worlds. It's Outer Wilds, y'all. And with that, that will conclude this Wednesday, October 9th, 2019 Hype Report. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you, if you liked any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go to the show description below. I've left you all the article links there. You can give them a click and support those incredible games journalists around the globe. You have now been caught up for your Wednesday and you're halfway through the week. So keep working hard and keep gaming. I'll see you guys tomorrow, gamers. Have a great one.